Yorvi Torrealba hit a two-run homer, and the Colorado Rockies snatched away home field advantage in their NL Division Series with the Phillies with a 5-4 win in Game 2 Thursday at Citizens Bank Park. The Rockies have even the series at one game apiece as it now heads to Denver for Games 3 and 4 this weekend. It's huge because obviously we've been playing really well at home, especially the last month and a half, you know, and they um, go back to Denver. That was our goal, first of all, you know, if we can just win at least one game here. The Rockies got to Philly starter Cole Hamels early, taking a one nothing lead in the first on Todd Helton's RBI grounder. Torrey Alba's two-run blast in the fourth made a 3 nothing Rockies, and after Carlos Gonzalez doubled in the fifth, Dexter Fowler drove him home with a sacrifice fly. That would be the end of Hamels, last year's World Series MVP. The left-hander allowed four runs on seven hits over five-plus innings. He didn't stick around the ballpark, rushing to be with his wife, who was delivering the couple's first child. Frank Kopenborg came down the dugout and said his wife had, had went and told him his wife had, was in labor. And, uh, and, of course, he was out of the game and he was allowed to leave, took off the left. The Phillies scored three runs in the sixth off winning pitcher Aaron Cook. Ryan Howard with an RBI double. And Raul Abana is adding a two-run single. But the Rockies put the brakes on the Phil's rally with second baseman Clint Barmas going head over heels on a 5-4-3 inning-ending double play. You know, Phillies are a great team. They made me get pitches up. They were working me early, and I knew I had to come in there um, sooner or later in the sixth inning. I just made a couple bad pitches. But, you know, it's definitely huge for us to go back with at least a serious tide. Jason Worth homer in the eighth to pull the Phillies within one. But Houston Street came on in the ninth inning and nailed down the save. Game three is Saturday at Coors Field. John Klobuchar, the Associated Press.